Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you ever ran into a problem with sharing files and folders between computers and wanted to quickly do it without dealing with Windows file sharing and user accounts, then you can just use a simple HTTP server to share the files. I'll be installing and running a simple HTTP server from GitHub. So go to github.com and at the top right, put in simple HTTP server. And the one here from the developer at the Wawar, the simple HTTP server. Scroll down and go to download. And then I am running Windows, so I'm going to get this executable. Open up a command prompt. Just going to confirm my IP address. 192.168.2.105, which is how I'm going to access the web server. Now I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And here's the file that I download, the HTTP server. So I'm just going to run it. And when I run it, it's going to share all the files and folders within my downloads folder here, because this is where the file is. So I'm going to hit enter. And there's a pop-up here from Windows Security about the Windows firewall, and I'm going to allow it through. And you might also get a pop-up for about Windows Defender, and you just have to allow it through as well. So we can see here that it's running and on the address 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, so it's essentially on all interfaces. But my IP address is 192.168.2.105. That's how I'm going to access it. And it's going to be on the default port 8000. So I'm going to go on my other machine here. I'm going to access it on port 8000. And so here's all the files that are in my web server here so that I can download. So if I want to download Rufus, and I'm able to download it. And going back here, so we see here log entries, and this provides the IP address that accessed your server here and what they were trying to get. And 200, that means successful. 404 means I cannot find. And then here's Rufus that I downloaded, and it was a 200 OK, so it was successful. And if I ever want to stop the server, stop sharing, I just hit Control C, and it'll stop. And I can also upload as well. So if I put in the dash U flag and I hit enter, and I'm going to go back to my other machine here and refresh. So now I can do an upload. So if I go to browse and then I go to download, let's say I want to upload the Firefox installer executable and I hit upload. And there you see it has been uploaded and then Going back to my logs, you can see here there's a file saved, Firefox installer.exe. And if I go into my downloads folder, we can see here that there's a Firefox installer executable. So it was uploaded successfully. So that's it. If you ever want to share files and folders without dealing with Windows file sharing, then you can use a simple HTTP server. I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.